and Lara. We're off and running at Oaklawn Park. Colorful Native wins the start. Broke alertly is up on the pace with Captain Jack. These two one two. Colorful Native strides clear. Captain Jack takes a hold and will take back to second. Ram strides up and moves level with Captain Jack down the backside. Pressure in the fourth position three wide. Another length and a half to Super Constitution. Three more to League of Legends. And Hot Ticket well behind as no early pace with a half mile to go. Captain Jack tipping off the rail to come and challenge. Colorful Native, who holds the inside spot. Colorful Native, three quarters of a length ahead. Captain Jack made an early bid towards that front runner, begins to give way. Ram about to pass him, taking the second position. Pressure tries to get into the race, and he's moving forward within two lengths of the lead. Super Constitution right behind the leaders, trying to get outside. League of Legends circling the field. It's wide open, coming off the turn. Colorful Native cuts the corner, far outside. League of Legends with pressure. They're moving as a pair. Ram is there, back battling for the win as well. It's pressure with a head lead. Ram alongside in the second spot. League of Legends after making that early move on the far turn flattens out. Ram pressure side by side. Ram on the inside with the head lead. Pressure right there, but Ram got the win. Ram, I believe, got it over pressure. Super Constitution and League of Legends. And uh, Laroff, uneventful start. Zong's Irish Frost on the lead today. Miss Mo Mesa has early speed too. Dance My Way in the middle of that pair. Those three line up across the track as they speed down the back stretch. A gap of two and a little dab will do. Runs in the fourth position with Frost. Evai, who's there, so is Secret City. And one cross to the inside. Breathtaking Folly joining that quartet and is running six off the pace with a half mile to go. A gap of three to Matoli, My Bell, Miss Terry, and Sky Raven. That trio towards the back together as they go into the turn. Dance My Way and Zong's Irish Frost sprint clear of the pack, and they put about six lengths on Miss Mo Mesa, who couldn't keep up in the third position. Breathtaking Folly claims the fourth spot, is pushed along now as they approach the top of the lane. Frost, Evai joins her. The others well behind the top pair who are in a slugfest coming off the turn. Zong's Irish Frost losing the lead to Dance My Way who has a head lead. Zong's Irish Frost second. Miss Mo Mesa four back in third. Furlong to go. Dance My Way is putting away Zong's Irish Frost and with a 16th to go starts to shake away from the competition. Dance My Way for the Kim Pole Barn winning it by two and a half legs. Zong's Irish Frost holds second Frosty by third. Miss Mo Mesa fourth. And uh, Laroff, per usual, always be smart, a step slow out of the gate. Major Mac from the inside in the pink jacket going to the front. Inform takes second. Penrod parked outside of him. And there's the favorite Nullify in the fourth position, gets to the fence, charging into the turn. Next is Melt with you. Tell him I'm coming at the back with always be smart, the gray horse. Around the clubhouse turn they run. Nine lengths from first to last. Major Mac leads the way. Penrod to the outside, moving level to apply pressure with three quarters of a mile to go. A gap of two to nullify. Slips inside of Inform to claim third. A gap of five to another pair. Always be smart taking the fifth position away from Melt with you. And tell him I'm coming well back now. At least a dozen off the pace, maybe even 15 down the back stretch here. Major Mac went the opening quarter in 23 and two-fifths seconds is on top still by a half length. Penrod there on the outside attempting to keep, keep pace. Major Mac opens up the lead to a length with a half mile to go. Penrod in chase mode now second. Nullify getting closer within two lengths of the lead. Inform still with him. Always be smart. Four from the top. Two back to melt with you. Pushed upon his backpedaling. Needs to turn it around here. Tell him I'm coming. Remains the trailer as they round the turn. Major Mac in front of neck. Penrod still right there. Press but he's under a hard ride. Nullify getting closer. He's getting outside. He finds room to come outside and try to get to those front runners. Inform has dropped out of it. Always be smart. Still has to get going. Nullify making his move to the front. Major Mac along.
alongside of him, but Nullify with a furlong to go. Passes Major Mark in the final furlong and kicks on. Major Max second, huge space back to always be smart in third. Nullify coming home strong to break the maiden under Keith Asmussen. Nullify by three. Major Mac holds second, always be smart third. Tell him I'm coming. Passes three runners from the back to complete the superfecta. The thrill of thoroughbred racing is always available with Oakland Anywhere. When they can't make it to the track, Arkansas residents can watch and wager on horse races from all over the world with any smartphone, laptop, or tablet, anytime, anywhere. Go to oaklawnanywhere.com or download the free Oakland Anywhere app and register for a $150 sign-up bonus. Bet online anytime with Oakland Anywhere, Arkansas's exclusive window to worldwide racing. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-522-4700. Worth the money going towards the lead today. Here's Fasten on the engine early. On the inside, red line overdrive's not far off. Fasten with a head lead. Worth the money right there to the outside. Red line overdrive to the inside. Super Renzo, four deep on the course. Uncle Burley right behind that quartet in the fifth position. Just a length and a half off the lead. A gap of four to Asymmetric. He's running in midfield. American Icon alongside of him into the far turn. Impressor in midfield with Sir. They're a length better than Bordinos, who just this pass is a weakening sir who's dropping to the back of the pack with Cravensworth as they round the far turn. Red line overdrive punching forward on the inside to take a head lead on Fastened who's coming right back at him. A three deep Super Renzo joining the fun on the front end with a quarter mile to go. Uncle Burley right behind the leaders has gotten a good setup as they swing off the corner and then comes Asymmetric needs to pick it up. Down the lane Fastened red line overdrive side by side. Uncle Burley has gotten the perfect trip. Can he get there? He's on the grandstand side, plugging away. Uncle Burley on the extreme outside, hits the lead from Fasten and Redline Overdrive. That's how they'll finish. Uncle Burley, your winner. Fasten second, Redline Overdrive third. Cravensworth from far out of it, snatches fourth. And uh, Laroff 
On the far outside, Dance Samo gets into it early. Southern Sunset adding blinkers today. Aggressively ridden, strides in front. Dance Samo in the second spot, joined by Seven Flat and Bobby White. Bobby into the turn. Those four pretty much across the track, but Southern Sunset, he's got a narrow lead here in the early stages, about a length in front of Dance Samo. He's trying to cross over in second. Seven Flat alongside of him. Bob White, Bobby easing off the speed is down on the inside of that pair within a length and a half of the lead. Another length and a half, the little sweet thing. Race Billy is joining that rival. A space of four to Hartleazy and Long Crow is at the back of the pack as they head down the back stretch. A contentious pace battle. Southern Sunset still with the lead and he strides out as I say that. Southern Sunset opening up the lead to about a length now. Bob White, Bobby in the second spot. Dance Samo stocking the pace today in third. Little Sweet Thing making up headway on the inside to be within two lengths of the lead. A length and a half to seven flat is lost position. Then Racy Billy racing alone. Long Crow is out of last passing Hartleazy, who drops to the back as they round the far turn. Southern Sunset, three furlongs to go. The pacemaker, three quarters of a length. Bob White Bobby comes out of the crowd to come up and turn up the pressure. And those two are a neck apart as they round the turn. Two and a half back to Dance Samoan and all out drive. Little sweet thing alongside of that rival. The others have got to get rolling as they come off the turn. Southern Sunset. Bob White, Bobby on the outside right there. These two together as they head down the lane. Southern Sunset a little bit green trying to lug in here. Basically brushed the rail about 50 yards ago. Bob White, Bobby still right there as they come for home. Long Crow getting into it third. Trying to come on. Is ducking to the inside. Southern Sunset keeps going though. And Southern Sunset's going to win. Southern Sunset over a charging Long Crow. Third home was Bob White, Bobby. And little sweet thing checked in fourth. of the late pick five and uh, lay rough. Perfect flight was a little bit slow to go. Search engine put into play. Phantom Ride takes back. Outlier moving up to claim second, but Search Engine is the leader approaching the turn from Outlier, who runs in the second spot. Perfect flight makes his way into third. Phantom Ride is next right behind him. A gap of two to Mr. Thunderstruck. Uninvited guest to the inside. Roman Centurion is one runner beat. The Reds, the favorite. He's at the back of the pack now as they approach the backstretch run. Search Engine, the leader here by three quarters of a length. Outlier second second on the hip of that pacemaker. Perfect flight and a good gallop runs in third. A length and a half to Phantom Ride. A similar margin to Uninvited Guest. Then the Reds getting a little bit closer. Takes the third last spot from Mr. Thunderstruck who's dropped back a few positions. Roman Centurion at the rear of the field. Ten behind as they approach the half mile pole. Search Engine still in control of things on the lead. A length in front. Went 23 and 3 the first quarter. The half in 48 and 2. Search Engine a half length in front. Outlier to the outside. Getting closer as they go into the turn. Perfect flight in a pocket. He's got some horse. Phantom Ride pinning him in down on the inside as they round the turn. Uninvited Guest needs to do more. He's five lengths behind under a ride. The Reds, he's being asked to get going behind the leaders as they start to pack up on the lead. Coming to the top of the lane. This race went at the 16th pole. Perfect flight. Just dove to the front. He found a seam on the rail and blew right past Search Engine at the top of the lane. Perfect flight. Opens up by two. Phantom Ride second. Search engine back in third. Perfect flight in front. Phantom Ride coming with a late surge. He's coming fast. And Phantom Ride got it. Phantom Ride over perfect flight. And then search engine photo for fourth. The thrill of thoroughbred racing is always available with Oaklawn Anywhere. When they can't make it to the track, Arkansas residents can watch and wager on horse races from all over the world with any smartphone, laptop, or tablet, anytime, anywhere. Go to oaklawnanywhere.com or download the free Oaklawn Anywhere app and register for a $150 sign-up bonus. Oaklawn Anywhere gives you access to past performances, live video, and expert race analysis with no subscription fees. Bet online anytime with Oaklawn Anywhere. 
Arkansas's exclusive window to worldwide racing. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-522-4700. What are you doing here? Just here to remind you that Oakland Sports is a betting app that goes where you go. You're not strong enough to lift this. Maybe not, but I do have strong feelings about the over on Monday night. Now let's get it! Peekaboo. <laughs> hey, buddy. Good idea. Stay limber. You know what a real stretch is? Tigers covering the spread. And guess who's nailing it? This guy. Oakland Sports goes where you go. Bet with the best mobile sports app from the brand you trust. Bet with Oakland Sports. We're ready to go. And uh, flare off. A little bit of a tardy break from Allo Henry, but he's out of lurth lane. He's going to come up and press the issue early. Heritage Park strides in front, leads a half length from Allo Henry. Aspen Club is three deep on the course. Colonel Barton a joint third with him. Choctaw Zip is next with Forsaken, who's running four lengths off the pace. A gap of two to stopping Hot Rod in midfield today. Then comes I'm the Machine, passed by obviously two into the far turn run. UVC and Reef's Destiny, they're next. And Campisi is at the back of the pack as they round the far turn. Heritage Park has the lead here with Allo Henry, and Allo Henry sticks his head in front. Heritage Park back in second on the fence. Aspen Club is three wide, making a move, and there goes Aspen Club to the front with Joseph Belmer as they hit the top of the lane. Aspen Club at the top of the stretch, a little wide off the turn, but he's in front here. Heritage Park in second, Allo Henry between them third. Then comes Colonel Barton trying to pick up pieces. Choctaw Zip Extreme outside. It's still Aspen Club the gray. Here comes Colonel Barton. Here comes Choctaw Zip into third. Colonel Barton diving forward on the inside to challenge Aspen Club. Colonel Barton, Aspen Club right there, fighting back. Aspen Club on the outside got the win. Colonel Barton's second, third home was Choctaw. Ta zip and then Allo Henry. And uh, Lairoff, uneventful dispatch. Wildwood by on the lead. Rose Parade now moving up from the inside to snatch the lead away, and it's Rose Parade in front. Make Me Believe follows that rival to claim second. Wildwood by third going into the turn with Predis, and Flashy Lass inside of that pair rides the rail around the clubhouse turn. In the sixth position is the gray pair of style. She's seven ahead of Bump in the Night, and my good fortune, voided of early paces at the back of the field with Bump in the Night. Down the back stretch, they run now. Rose Parade on the lead by a half length. Make Me Believe tips outside into the two path to press the pace from second. Flashy last third with Pretis. They're side by side. A length and a half better than another pair. Paris style makes her way inside of Wildwood by a gap of two to my good fortune and bump in the night drops to the back at a big number 69 to one as they make their way towards the half mile pole. Rose Parade went the opening quarter in 23 and four fifth seconds. The first half 48 and three. So a modest Sensible tempo here set by Rose Parade, who leads three quarters of a length. Now a half length. Make me believe on the outside, applying the pressure as they go into the turn. Flashy last still third with Predis. Wildwood by being asked to go in the three path, joining Flashy last. Those three pretty much together as they round the far turn. My good fortune is next. Paris style and bumping the night is well out of it. Top of the stretch now. Rose Parade being challenged by Make Me Believe. Flashy last getting pinned in behind horses. She's got a lot of horse. Tries to get outside 
right as they come down the lane and then Wildwood by as they come down the stretch. Make me believe has put away Rose Parade. Wildwood by coming on the scene though, taking the lead and Flashy Lass is tipping outside into the second position and she's grinding away after Wildwood by. Wildwood by Flashy Lass trying to reel her in late. It's Wildwood by in front and Wildwood by finds the wire in time. Wildwood by over Flashy Lass, then Paris Style and Make Me Believe. The thrill of thoroughbred racing is always available with Oakland Anywhere. When they can't make it to the track, Arkansas residents can watch and wager on horse races from all over the world with any smartphone, laptop, or tablet, anytime, anywhere. Go to oaklawnanywhere.com or download the free Oakland Anywhere app and register for a $150 sign-up bonus. Bet online anytime with Oakland Anywhere, Arkansas's exclusive window to worldwide racing. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-522-4700. Good beginning for all the runners in the race. Moonlit Lady from post six bounced into the bridle very quickly and takes advantage, goes to the front, opens up a length and a half on Aztec Empress Freeburn. They're side by side. Then Grazia in the fourth spot with Lady Moscato. That pairs three lengths clear of a pair at the back. Floating Beauty Divine Gal. They're side by side. There's a half mile to go. And Moonlit Lady finds herself with a clear lead, gets towards the rail, and approaches the far turn run, a length in front. Free burn on the inside of Aztec Empress, the long shot side by side. Lady Moscato claims fourth and gets closer, begins a move in the three path. There goes Lady Moscato to come up and challenge Moonlit Lady now around the far turn. Grazia in fifth, needs to get going, swings to the outside, sent along, but is moving under some pressure as six lengths to gain as they swing off the corner. Lady Moscato cruising up alongside of Moonlit Lady to take the lead. And Lady Moscato kicks on. Moonlit Lady left behind in second. Freeburn is third with a furlong to go. And Lady Moscato's opening up that lead. And after that maiden win last month, looks like the light bulb is turned on for her. Lady Moscato soared five, six ahead. Big effort from the daughter of Quality Road, Lady Moscato. Freeburn was second. Moonlit Lady third. Grazia fourth. And uh, Laroff in the finale. A good dispatch for every runner in the race. A lineup for the lead. Colt Fiction out alertly, and he's up there with Rare Stripe. The two inside runners are quickest as they head down the back stretch. Cold Fiction with a head lead on Rare Strike. Communication memo not far off is sent along. Mr. Sharpie taking the third position from that rival. Under the gun is five wide in the fifth position, only two behind as a compact group up top approach the four turn run. Lamontutanati getting towards the rail into the four turn run approaching the turn. He's two better than under. 
under the gun in Cibolo. Under the gun's lost a little ground. Then Charter Oak between horses. Slam Dunk Sermon on the inside. Dropping back at the rail and tight. Slam Dunk Sermon had to slam on the brakes. He's been passed by Creme de la Chrome, who tries to giddy up on the far outside, trying to circle the field. And the 11-year-old double tough is last as they swing off the corner. Colt Fiction, rare stripe battling on the lead. Colt Fiction losing contact with the front runners. And it looks like he is beaten at this point. There's a furlong to go. Rare Stripe has the lead. Communication memo on the outside right there battling. Two long shots going to hit the line together. Who's it going to be? Rare Stripe on the inside, outside. Communication memo. Photo finish. Very tight. Communication memo at 19 to 1. Rare Stripe at 54 to 1 in the photo for the win. And